We are here today at the Marshall Volunteer Fire Department to learn the basics of what it takes to be a firefighter. Joining us as our special guest will be Marshall Volunteer Firefighter Nate Kleinschmidt. We find Nate in the turnout room and ask him to walk us through the firefighting turnout gear. First thing we do is we put on our hood that protects our ears and neck and any exposed skin. Then we put on our pants with our boots already in it to save time. We gotta be able to do this within yeah, 30, 45 seconds. Pull them up. All of our pants and our coats are thermal barrier and vapor barrier to protect us in multiple ways. And then the coat goes on. Once we got our coat on, then we can put our helmet on. Now we join Nate as he takes us through what each firefighter does on the fire engine and some of the equipment that the fire engine holds. So when the alarm comes in, everybody gets into the truck, driver here. The officer of the truck will be over there. They have a computer with all the in information of the call and the crew is in the back. Once we hit the lights, we can go to the emergency. So the transmission of the truck drives it. It also drives the pump. When we arrive to the scene of a fire, we need to change the transmission from driving the truck Move this down so we can drive the pump and get water to the hoses. The operator or engineer will then come out here to the back. This is called the pump panel. And what it does is it operates where water goes from the pump to which hoses. While the engineer is getting water ready to come through the hoses, the firefighters will come out in these lines pull out and we'll have 200 feet of hose to be able to get to the fire, whether it's in the house or at a car or anywhere else. In the back, we have the Jaws of Life. It's a hydraulic unit that can spread or pinch or cut through the metal of cars. We'll go back to more of the office type setting of the station. My favorite part about being a firefighter is really just being able to help the community it is being able to know that you come to work not knowing what you're going to do, but knowing that you have the training to be able to handle any situation that you have to encounter. And when somebody's having a bad day, they call you and you do your best to try and make their day a little bit better. Hey! Hey! 